along the way had become so myopically focused on this promise I'd made my, to myself as a kid that I never stopped to ask, why do I want to get rich? The questions you ask yourself will determine the course of your life. I had been asking myself, what do I need to do to get rich? And it left me really unhappy. So I changed the question and I started asking, what would I do and love every day, even if I were failing? Life is too short, this is your one go round. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna build a company that's predicated on value. We're gonna build a company that's predicated on passion. I started thinking about my mom and my sister, but they were profoundly overweight. I started thinking about my uncle who ate himself to death when I was 12 years old and how much that scared me and it made me sad. And it made me sad to see that there were millions, if not more than a billion people that were in the same kind of abusive relationship with food that my mom and my sister were. So I said, I don't know if it's a big business, but I know it's a big problem. And that's the problem that we're gonna solve. And so we decided to build a totally new kind of company. We started Quest Nutrition in 2010, just as we were coming out of the Great Recession. I was wearing a hairnet and a lab coat every day and my employees were former gang members, ex-drug dealers, felons. We were in Compton and we literally told everybody in the neighborhood, I don't care if you've been convicted of a crime. I just want to know if you're willing to bust your ass to change your life. And if you are, you're going to get an interview. And I'm not going to ask for your resume. I don't care about your resume. Your resume tells me where you've been. It doesn't tell me the price you're willing to pay to become somebody new. Every belief that you have is a choice. I choose to believe that human potential is nearly limitless. And this was the belief that changed my life. Because once I realized, so it's not about who you are today. It's about who you want to become and the price you're willing to pay to get there. And I promise you, the day that you're willing to pay any price, you'll achieve what you want to achieve. If you truly believe that human potential is limitless, what do you want to become? And what price are you willing to pay to get there?